Hi, this is Nancy, the Teen Librarian at the Byron Library, and I'm back with another quarantine video. During these cold winter months, we need something hot to eat. So I'm going to be making a recipe from the book Teen Cuisine, found in our teen nonfiction area. This book is written by Matthew Loriccio, and the recipe is on page 31. We are going to be making red salsa, also called pico de gallo. So the ingredients that you are going to need for this recipe are four to five plum tomatoes, or three medium tomatoes, one to three jalapeno chilies, one small white onion, um, 10 to 12 sprigs of cilantro, a lime, and some salt. You also need a cutting board, a sharp knife, spoons, and a bowl. Now, um, ahead of time, I washed all the vegetables, so make sure you do that for everything. You also want to wash your hands ahead of time. So you're going to be cutting those tomatoes in half and then dicing them into small pieces. Now, I'm only going to be making about half of a recipe on this video. Um, the ingredient list that I gave you would make a full recipe. One of the reasons is because I don't want to spend a lot of time cutting tomatoes in front of you. And another reason is because my family ate some of the onion that I plan to use in this recipe. So, I adapted. So, I'm almost done with my tomatoes. So I'll scoop those to the side. Then I'm going to cut my jalapeno chili, also sometimes called the jalapeno pepper. Depending on how hot your pepper is, you might need to wear gloves. I just got some mild jalapenos. And um, before I started the recipe, I cut it in half and I scooped out the insides, all the seeds. So it's up to you if you want to include seeds on your recipe, but they typically aren't. Um, but the seeds add some extra heat, so it depends on how hot you want your salsa. So there we go on the chilies. Now I'm going to work on my onion. This is a Vidalia sweet onion, and I'm using about half of it, because like I said, I'm making about a half recipe on video right now. So I'm just trying to get everything diced nice and small. With any recipe, you can adapt it um, a little bit. You could include more onions, more peppers, um, the cilantro, which I'm about to cut. And so for the cilantro, um, they have stems on them. You don't want to eat the stems. so. Pull the stems off if you haven't already. I pulled most of the stems off already um, as I was prepping my ingredients for this recipe. So you're just chopping everything fine. So I'm just going to go back and just cut just a little bit more just to make things nice and small for my salsa. Okay, I feel like this is chopped pretty well, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put all my ingredients, whoops, a little bit of more onion needs to be done. So now I'm going to put all the ingredients in this bowl. onions, chile, the cilantro, and the tomatoes are all being added in. Pick up a few little loose pieces. Now I'm going to stir it up. I want to stir it thoroughly. And then once you feel it stirred, then you are going to take your lime and you can cut it in 
into halves or quarters to make it a little easier. And you're going to go ahead and you are going to squeeze that line into the pico de gallo. I'm going to stir it a little bit more. And I'm going to add one more quarter because, like I said, I'm making half of a recipe. And then my final ingredient is some salt. So it says one teaspoon, so I'm going to just do a few turns. Mine is a grinder. And I'm going to stir it up again. And then afterwards, the recipe says for it to sit for an hour. Because with um, most recipes, you need time for the flavors to intermingle and for it to, to really taste the best. So as you can see, it looks good. And now we want our final bowl of salsa, which I did prep an hour ago. And so here you go, this is my final bowl of salsa pico de gallo. Tonight I am cooking chicken tacos for my family. And so my family is to enjoy my salsa. And I hope you do too. Enjoy.